Welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into one of the most unique and independent Linux distributions out there. So you've ever wondered what makes Solus different from Ubuntu Fedora, Arch, or Debian? This video is for you. Solus isn't based on any other Linux distribution. It's built completely from scratch with its own packaging system, its own repositories, and its own desktop environment. That alone makes it stand out in the Linux world where most distros are built on top of something else. Let's start with the core idea behind Salus, a curated, stable, and modern desktop experience. Salus focuses entirely on desktop users, not servers. That means every decision the developers make is aimed at improving everyday computing, whether you're browsing the web. Code D-I-N-G, gaming or doing creative work. One of the biggest highlights of Solus is the Budgie desktop environment. Budgie was created by the Solus team and it offers a beautiful, clean, and modern interface. It's built on GNOME technologies, but has its own design, philosophies, elegant, and efficient. If you love a desktop that looks premium without being bloated, Budgie delivers. Another strength of Salus is performance. Because it's built from scratch and heavily optimized, Salus feels fast even on older hardware. Boot times are quick, applications launch smoothly, and the system stays responsive. Now let's talk about package management. Solus uses its own package system called e It may not be as famous as APT or Pacman, but it's simple, reliable, and easy to use. The curator repository means fewer broken packages, fewer dependency issues, and a stable experience. For many users, that's a huge advantage. Solus also supports Flatpak, giving access to a wide range of modern applications. So even though the official repository is smaller than Ubuntu's or Arch's, you can still get most of the software you need. One area where Solus has gained a lot of praise is gaming. Thanks to performance optimizations and good support for drivers. Solus is surprisingly strong for gaming on Linux. Steam, Lutris, Proton, everything works smoothly. Many users report better gaming performance compared to bigger distributions. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. Development stability. Solus has gone through some difficult periods, including slow development, and team restructuring, there were even moments when people thought the project might be dead. But the community and developers have brought it back with renewed progress and updates continuing. This is both a strength and a weakness. On one hand, Solus offers a focused and high cloud experience. On the other hand, a small team can mean slower updates and uncertainty. If you want the fastest new software, Solus might not be the best choice. But if you value stability and polish, it shines. So who is Solus for? If you want a Linux distribution that just works, feels modern, and doesn't require constant maintenance, Solus is a great choice. It's perfect for everyday users, students, developers, and even gamers. If you love Budgie or want a distro that feels unique, Solus delivers a refreshing experience. However, if you need a massive repository, enterprise support, or cutting edge software, you may prefer something like Arch Fedora, or Ub to wrap up, Solus stands out because it dares to be different. It's independent, polished, and designed with the desktop experience in mind. In a world full of Ubuntu-based clones, Solus brings originality and focus. If you enjoyed this breakdown and want more deep dives into Linux distributions, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and comment below which distro you want next. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.